I personally enjoy a lot uh, doing lateral window technique, ridge augmentation. However, my patients do not enjoy uh, when I do lateral window technique, as you can see here. And today I would like to share with you how we can simplify the sinus grafting technique so that you and the patient can enjoy at the same time. So, when you have sinus uh, case like this, severely pneumatized, only one millimeter of initial bone height. Which approach would you take in your practice? I personally think that most dentists would take lateral window approach, correct? But isn't there an easier way to approach this? And I came out with my classification of sinus uh, and in my opinion, because of 3D comb beam CT scan, the width of alveolar bone plays greater role than the height of alveolar bone. Especially in class 2 defect, it is very important to open window through the crest, uh, such as in this case, rather than opening a lateral window in order to minimize morbidity to our patients. Uh, because whenever we raise big flap beyond mucogingival junction, going into basal bone, then patient tends to have more morbidity, pain, and swelling. And your patients will not enjoy the implant treatment. And because of improved surface, uh, I think short and wide implant is an excellent, excellent treatment of choice uh, for our patients, but it requires minimum, in my, in my dictionary, minimum of 6 millimeter bone height and greater than 12 millimeter of bone width. Now, when we have greater than 6 millimeter and uh, greater than, uh, less than 12 millimeter reach, then it is okay to do a blind technique because all we need to do is lift just a little bit uh, in order to uh, augment the sinus. However, in class four uh, morphology, uh, only techniques that will work is actually lateral window technique because uh, of severely pneumatized uh, sinus and uh, uh, very uh, thin ridge.